Here we see some of the crew members coming in. Now we see Oleg Kononenko there. He's the outgoing Expedition 59 commander. He's going to be the Soyuz commander in the center seat. There's NASA astronaut Anne McLean. She's going to be in the right seat. And then just now into view, that's David St. Shock, outgoing Canadian astronaut, wrapping up his first space flight. Now we're going to see some of the crew members remaining on board. First one is uh, Alexei Ovchinin. He's now going to be the Expedition 60 commander remaining on board. And there's Nick Haig and Christina Cook, who are also going to be remaining on board. Both NASA astronauts on their first flights. Uh, they're going to remain on board for Expedition 60. And uh, Christina Cook actually going to remain uh, for additional expeditions as her stay was uh, lengthened. She'll actually be staying on board until February 2020, coming home with a different crew. And we see the hatch now closed on the Soyuz side. And I will start closing my side. Okay, go ahead. And Alexei of China now moving in to close the hatch on the station side. And we have confirmation that the hatch has been closed, and now the hatch on the station side closed as well. So hatch closure coming and confirmed at 3.15 p.m. Central Time, 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, while the station was flying 255 statute miles over the Earth, actually just east of Tokyo, and moving out over the northern Pacific. So the hatch is now closed.